Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today on the table we have a Ruger PC Charger chambered in 9mm. Let's get this review started. All right, so let's start at the back here. Now, typically, uh, let's just go over what does not come with it. Um, at the back here, we have this mount with a um, with this SB tactical brace on here. This does not come with it. And on top of you here, I'm still reviewing the uh, Premier Arm Cyclops 1X. And if you've seen my last couple of videos, um, I've been kind of uh, moving this around to those guns. So this one should be the next review out. Uh, spoiler, absolutely love it. It's good to go, links in the description. But full review should be a, a week after this one. Okay, so. So yeah, let's go to the back here. So on here, and I did borrow this gun from a friend, so thank you for that, let me just say that straight off. But at the back here, uh, the way they've set this up, um, there's a 1913 Pickerel at the back right here. And that's how this mount is attached with this buffer tube and your SB tactical brace on the back. Um, so it's very handy to have this 1913 Pickerel on the back here because you can put on a variety of uh, braces or stocks if you want to SBR and things like that. Now, personally, for me, I would have probably gone with a folding stock um, because I think this gun is perfect for a backpack gun or something like that and we'll go into that in just a little bit more detail and why I think that in just a second but, uh, but, but as I say you have a variety of options it's really really nice that you can switch this in and out to whatever you want to put on there uh, moving along here uh, right here you have uh, QD sling mounts on either side and I just hit the mag release button. So uh, this would probably be best on a one point sling. I don't think a two point sling would be necessary on this gun. Uh, moving along, this is um, all kind of aluminum, steel, um, very nice. It's a little hefty, it's about five and a half pounds for this little guy. So it's got a little bit of a weight behind it, but the overall quality construction seems very, very nice. 1913 pick reel right here. Uh, you're probably not going to put irons on this. Um, you're probably just going to stick a red dot on this and be good. Um, it does have a charging handle here. Uh, this is an ambidextrous charging handle. Well, it's kind of ambidextrous, as in you can switch this to the other side. There's a little Allen key screw in there. So you'll be able to take that off and then screw it in the other side, um, if that's the side you want to run it on. Again, uh, my friend has this set up this way. Uh, I think I would put it on the other side, but totally up to you. It is a reciprocating charging handle, meaning this charging handle does come back with it and go forward. Now, the way that you hold this gun, it should never interfere with anything anyway, but just be aware of that. Uh, moving down, we have this, uh, this is kind of a standard AR-15 grip. This is Ruger's obviously mod their model of a grip. Uh, it feels pretty good, um, but you can switch this out to any AR-15 grip, which is a really smart decision, I think, by putting these on. Again, it gives you such a wide variety of options to change that out to something that you, that you like. Um, so moving to the trigger, the trigger is actually pretty nice. Um, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be so nice. Um, it's, got a very, it's got a little bit of take up. Nice clean break, um, and I say a little bit, I mean it's a little bit of take up. And then the reset, it's got a little bit out. Uh, you heard it there, it could be a little more forceful for me, um, but the actual trigger in general I think is very good. Uh, so that is awesome to see. And then your safety is actually built right here. So you would just push that through for safe fire and safe. Pretty convenient, I have uh, medium sized hands and I can easily reach that button to switch it from fire to safe. So it works well for me. Moving along, right under here, where my finger is, is actually where the bolt catch is. I don't think it's super intuitive where that is. Um, I mean, it does obviously work, but not a huge fan. So you can only lock it back. There is no like bolt release. You would essentially just pull, and you probably heard that click right there. You just pull the bolt back and let it go. But that's how you do lock it back. Again, I don't, I don't particularly like where that uh, is located, but it is what it is. Um, so yep, yeah, it is right there. And we'll just put that bolt 
home again. And then we come to the mag release, which is right here. And again, you can actually switch this over just like the charging handle to this side. Uh, there's a little Allen key screw right here and you just take that off and put it on reverse so depending on how again if you're a lefty or something like that you can switch it onto the other side great i think that's another nice feature being able to customize and switch things around like that is really nice for people moving down we have the mag wall here it has been flared uh, to insert your magazines now the again this thing is really cool because you can use standard rigor mags that go in here or you can put this adapter in which has it in right now and then you can use freedom sticks glock mags um, so you can use your 33 rounds, your drum mags, you know, you've got your, I don't know what rounds this one holds, can't even remember, 20? 21. Um, so you can use Glock mags, which, you know, majority of people have Glocks and these mags are cheap, they're plentiful, um, and it's a really nice fact. So I really do like that you, you can switch between what you would like and I really, does, I really do like it takes Glock mags, so that is awesome. So... Yeah, very cool. Okay, so uh, moving up, we have a six and a half inch uh, Code Hammer Forge Chrome Molly barrel. It's a heavy profile barrel. Also, the barrel is a one in 10 twist and the threads are half by 28. It's, you know, it's been great. Um, and on the end here, we have a thread protector covering, whoops, covering your threaded barrel. So you can, it's ready to go, it's ready to be suppressed, which is awesome. It does have an O-ring here, rubber O-ring. If you're going to be suppressing it, uh, you, you want to take that off uh, or it'll melt. Um, okay, let's put, let me just put that back on. But that rubber O-ring, what it does is it stops the barrel from backing out um, and coming off. So that's why that is there. You'll also notice we have this little hand stop. This is made by UTG. It does come with it. Now, because this barrel is so short, you know, it's, it's nice, I mean, I think people with larger hands might find that a little uncomfortable. You might want to move that up a little bit. Um, but you know, obviously with having such a short barrel, it's going to be really easy to put your hand up to the barrel. So having that little hand stop there and protecting your hand is a smart idea. Okay. So one of the things I was talking about is like why I would like this to have a folding brace because it would make it obviously a lot more compact. But on top of that, now you're going to want to pull your bolt back. I'm going to lock that open. Underneath here, there's a little pin and a little uh, push metal button, I don't even want to call it. And you're going to push that up, you're going to turn, and then you can slide off the barrel. So if you think about, sorry, let me take the bag out. So if you think about taking off this, or if you have a folding stock, excuse me, and it, it obviously you fold, I mean, that length to go in a backpack is crazy or something like that. So it makes it a really good bug out gun or a gun to keep in a backpack or maybe a truck gun or something like that. Because if you had a folding brace, just Fold it out, and then you would, to put this back on, you just slide it back in. It's got a little bit of a spring there. Turn it and lock it, and that's it back together. So I think that is an awesome, awesome feature. I really, really like that. The fact that you can take that out, put that down, and say you have a folding brace on there, and this thing would be very, very compact. Very, very cool indeed. Let me put that back on one more time. And lock it into place like so. So yeah, very cool. Uh, again, to make that such a compact package, I would definitely do that. Okay, and uh, obviously this works on a blowback system. Obviously that's why there's no buffer spring. You know, this is removable back here. There's no buffer spring or buffer because it is uh, a blowback design. So normally what I would do is I would take this down and show you the internals, um, although it's a little more difficult on how to do these. So I'll just tell you how to do it. And if you wish to do it when you get it, uh, feel free. So. There is two screws that you're going to, you're going to want to take out the charging handle. Screw, I told you there's a screw in there. You want to take that out. And there's a screw on top right here. And there is a screw on the bottom right here. And then you'd be able to pull off the lower to gain access. Um, and so that, was, that would be how you gain access to the internals. I don't like, it, it's, I mean, I'm sure for a lot of people it's not a big deal. And it, sh and it probably won't ever be. Not thrilled that you need tools to take down any kind of gun, you know, I'm just not a fan of that. Um, it just is what it is for me. I mean, it's just a personal preference. Again, most people are never going to, you know, probably won't bother anybody, most people, but that's fine. But for me, um, having tools to take something down is, a, is kind of a no-go for me. But... Uh, anyway, so there's there's only that. I mean, there's so very few cons I feel about this gun. Um, it, it was a, I mean, it was just a fun gun to shoot. Um, super reliable. My friend's gone a through a couple thousand rounds with this. He has had zero issues. 
whatsoever, no problems at all. I've gone through several hundred rounds um, with it. I've had no problems at all. It worked with all the different mags, Glock mags, MN2 mags, and so on, and it was just great. Um, so two little cons for me is I don't love where that bolt catch is. Again, it's not a huge deal. I just don't find it super intuitive, um, but again, it, you know, it, it works. Uh, and the second thing is I don't like the fact that you have uh, these take down screws, take the screws out to take the gun down is probably my second con. Other than that, I, there is so much to love about this gun. Uh, the fact, as I say, you can easily remove the front. And again, if you have that folding brace, tiny package, cha you can change this with AR-15 grips. Uh, the overall construction is excellent. Like it's a bit, as I say, it's a little hefty, but it, overall it's a very, very, um, <coughs> But overall, it's a very, very nice gun. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely do like it. Put that back in. So, you already seen shooting was great. No problems, as I just said. Lots of great features on this gun. Two small drawbacks for me. So uh, let's talk about price. These guns are coming in uh, at about six to $700, depends on where you can find them. Um, and I think for today's market with uh, pistol uh, PCCs, uh, when that blowback design, I mean, at that kind of price, I mean, it's it's very, very competitive. Most PCCs, I think, are several hundred dollars above this, um, but I like it a lot, um, especially if I think you're getting a, a great gun uh, at a great price, and I, I don't think you'd be disappointed with it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. Uh, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it really helps me out, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, link in the description if you want to buy one. And that's it. All right, folks, until next time, I'll catch you later.